Adriana from Creative Family and today I'm going to show you the behind the scenes on how we made the sock bunny kits. So stay tuned! So it's really bright today, um, but right now I'm just waiting for my dad. He's just got some errands to do here and then uh, I'll be on my way to go do some shopping. So I'm just walking to the mall right now. Um, also, this is my very first attempt at filming a vlog, so this is going to be a really fun learning experience. So I have my list right over here, and it seems like I can grab everything in a pretty quick and timely manner, so let's get a move on, alright? materials so now I'm just gonna be heading home and starting to make my own sock bunny alrighty so today I'm gonna be showing you on how to make your own sock bunny the first thing you're gonna need is of course your sock this is already available in your kit Next, we're going to be filling up your sock with some stuffing, in this case, some cotton. Now remember, you don't want to fill your sock all the way up, just about halfway. One tip I recommend is stretching out your sock to help move the stuffing around to make your bunny more fluffy. But again, it's all up to you. Now once you fill up your sock with cotton, it's time to move on to the next step. Using an elastic band from your kit, tie up your sock. Now taking a second rubber band, tie it around the middle of your sock. This is going to be your bunny's head and body. Now to add a little extra detail, pinch a small section on the side of the bunny to make its little tail. And tying it up with a rubber band. Your sock should look like this for now. Using scissors, Cut a line in the middle of your sock. You can leave it just like that, or in my case, I decided to add some extra details to the ears. As you can see, right now I'm just cleaning up the edges. Now your bunny is almost done, but let's make them look extra fancy. Using the ribbon in your kit, tie it around the bunny's neck. You can make it into a scarf, a bow tie, whatever your heart desires. In this case, I'm going to be making a bow tie. This is also a really cute way on hiding the elastic. And there you have it guys, your finished sock bunny. Now I did mine a little bit differently. I used a white marker for the face, but in your kits you have a permanent marker. Just do the very same thing I did by creating the eyes and the nose. And then you're finished. You have a new sock bunny friend. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our next craft kit ideas. Now I'm gonna be showing you the sock bunnies that my fellow members at Creative Family have also made.